It's summertime in Raleigh, North Carolina. On today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 great things you can do to while away the summer days. Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with eXp Realty. And one of the best things you can do with your summer days is visit the sunflowers at Dorothea Dix Park in Raleigh. So if you're watching this video mid-July 2022, Definitely run, don't walk to Dorothea Dix Park to catch the sunflowers, they are in full bloom right now. So this is a really big deal for our area and definitely something you need to go check out. Great photos can be taken of these sunflowers, they're in full bloom as I say, it's very Instagrammable, it's a pretty amazing area. And as I say, it's a really big deal. People watch the forecast each year around this time to figure out when the sunflowers are gonna be in their best blooming stage and they go out and they make a big day of it. They have food trucks out here on select days when it's the busiest and just a really, really cool event. Definitely something we recommend you check out. And if you're watching this video in the future, definitely check out the Sunflower website. Check out the forecast because these sunflowers only bloom a few weeks out of the year and you really need to time it just right to catch them. Next up, we have Drive Shack. So Drive Shack is located in West Raleigh, almost in Cary. It is an in partially indoor driving range where Everyone from inexperienced golfers all the way to expert golfers can go and have a really, really great time. There's bars, restaurants inside this complex and rooftop lounge, the whole nine yards. So you can have a really great afternoon or entire day hitting golf balls or whatever golfers do. As you can tell, I am not an expert golfer, sorry. Next up, we have the State Farmers Market and yes, just about every one of these videos we do about the different seasons, we talk about the farmer's market. Reason being, it's never the same thing twice. Definitely in the summer, you're gonna catch all the summer vegetables. Definitely a recommended thing for you to do. Great opportunity to go spend a few hours, especially on the weekends when it's unfortunately crowded, but it's kind of nice that you get to be around a bunch of people. And you can get anything from, as I said, vegetables to fruits to honey to eggs really good eggs some of the vendors have some amazing eggs we get we don't go to the grocery store for eggs anymore so definitely a great great place to go definitely a great place to go in the summer you've got the two restaurants you can eat at the country restaurant that has great breakfast and lunch and dinner also the fried seafood place and did i mention the seafood is fried definitely worth your time definitely check out the state farmers market next thing you can do during the summer months dine outdoors so summer is a great time go to a restaurant that has outdoor dining and Raleigh and the Triangle is definitely a great place to go do some outdoor dining and some of our favorite restaurants allow you to eat outdoors. For example, there's Rosewater in Raleigh's North Hills District, great, great restaurant. There's Taverna Agora and Molino in downtown Raleigh that have some great outdoor seating. There's Prime Barbecue in Nightdale, one of our favorite barbecue places. Definitely a great place for some outdoor seating. And of course, no list would be complete without adding Sam Jones Barbecue in downtown Raleigh to the list. Beyond the fact that they have really good barbecue year round, they have some really cool outdoor seating. And speaking of Sam Jones, if you haven't already entered our contest, where we are celebrating hitting 10,000 subscribers, please definitely do so. We're gonna be giving away a $250 gift card to the Angus Barn, which is a really, really great steakhouse, local steakhouse here in our area, and a $50 gift card to Sam Jones Barbecue. So we'll link all the details in the description below. In addition, there are several rooftop bars in our area. The two that come to my mind immediately are Level 7 in Raleigh's North Hills District and The Willard in downtown Raleigh on Glenwood South. We're also going to drop a link to a really good article about outdoor dining in the description below, so go check that out as well. Next up, you can go hang out at Carrie's Fenton. So Fenton is a massive new development that's coming online. Again, if you're watching this mid-July 2022, restaurants and shops are slowly opening up. This is an amazing complex. Very very great addition to Cary and the entire triangle. This complex has 92 acres with over a million square feet of office space and 575,000 square feet of commercial shopping and restaurant space. Most of them are on the first floor with the office space on the second floor of these buildings. They're really, really well designed. It looks like these buildings have been here forever and they've been rehabbed, which makes it really cool, gives it great character. Plenty of parking. There's eight parking decks are gonna be in this complex when all is said and done. 
done. And as I said, lots of restaurants are coming online. Some really, really cool local chefs and restaurants are coming to Fenton. We can't wait for them to all open up. We're definitely going to do a video exclusively on Fenton when everything is up and running. And in addition to some great restaurants, bars, and shopping, there is a really, really cool movie theater that's just opened up. So Paragon is a chain out of Florida. They're known as a luxury movie theater chain and the one in Fenton is no different. They have these Lux boxes, which you can reserve online. And it's like plush love seats with like barriers on each side and they recline and you can order food in the Lux box and any of this really cool. Speaking of food, there's a restaurant and a bar inside this theater amazing they'll bring it to you or you can eat before you go into the movie theater all of that definitely ups the ante in our area about being able to go see a movie definitely something very exciting and super exciting that you can go do that in Fenton right after having or right before having a really really great meal the next thing you can do in the summer is go get some local ice cream let's start with howling cow so this is locally made ice cream made by NC State students at their dairy farm lab and they sell it in a building off of Lake Wheeler Road in South Raleigh. Amazing, amazing ice cream. They have it at the State Fair every year. Definitely somewhere you wanna go when you're at the State Fair to grab you some ice cream, but now you can get any time of the spring, summer at this building in South Raleigh. We need to give a special shout out to John Lavis, who's one of our loyal viewers who made a comment letting us know about the howling cow and we are gonna go check it out as soon as we're off of our diets let you guys know about it but you check it out first and comment in the comments below what your thoughts are on it and beyond howling cow there's also good berry so good berries is frozen custard not ice cream it's been around for many many years locations all around the triangle basically you can take this frozen custard and they have like three flavors a day mix in fruits or candies chocolates and create a concrete and they literally take it and turn it upside down it doesn't come out because it's so solid it's delicious stuff. I always try to get like a giant large one and then eat on it slowly. I think that's just the best way to do it. Definitely recommend checking out Good Berries. Great thing and they all have outdoor seating because they don't have any indoor seating. So great place to go on a warm summer night. Next great thing you can do over the summer is visit Chapel Hill. So Chapel Hill is a great place to visit any time of the year, but it's especially great in the summer because School is out, less people are around, easier to navigate and get around. In addition, even though it's really warm in the Triangle, Chapel Hill included over the summer, there's lots of trees and foliage, so you're gonna have plenty of shade, especially walking around the campus. Lots to do in Chapel Hill. There's Coker Arboretum, there's the North Carolina Botanical Gardens, there's tons of museums around the campus, shops, restaurants, that sort of thing. Chapel Hill is really a great town, and if you have the ability, time to do it, we would recommend doing a staycation for like a weekend stay in Chapel Hill, enjoying all the sights, have some nice food and bar scene vibe going on in Chapel Hill, definitely something we recommend. Next thing you can do over the summer months is visit the area museum. So what better thing is there to do over the hot summer months than go visit a nice air conditioned museum. One of our favorites is the North Carolina Art Museum. So the art museum has some really great outdoor sculptures and artwork that you can stroll around and browse and get some fresh air before it gets too warm and then once it warms up during the day, you can go inside into this massive art museum where you can spend a few hours or believe it or not, even a few days. This art museum is famous for having touring art installations that come. A few years ago, there was a Rodin sculpture display that came that was out of this world insane. And so definitely check out their website. They have some calendars of events coming and definitely worth your time and trouble. And as well, there's many, many other art museums such as the Marble Kids Museum downtown that totally are worth your time, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot. Next up, we have the Raleigh Rose Garden. This is near the NC State campus in West Raleigh, open seven days a week from dawn until dusk. It's free to get in. It's an amazing display of roses for all of the rose lovers out there. They have over 60 beds of rose display. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounds pretty impressive. It is a beautiful place to be where you can commune with nature. Very Instagrammable, very photographable. Definitely highly recommended. So I hope this has been helpful, giving you some things to do over your summer. Please check out this video. We think you're gonna like it as well. If you are considering a move either into or out of the Raleigh area, either in the summer or really any time of the year, my team and I would love to be your real estate agents of choice. You can 
can give us a phone call, click the link in the description below to get started with us, or you can email us at hello at wartonbradbury.com. Like and subscribe to this video if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.